Whenever I'm filming content, the key thing in my mind is portraying a story and telling a narrative. And drones play an incredibly important role in the way that I tell my stories, but I will only use them in five very specific circumstances. You see so many videos out there that over rely on drone footage or are mostly composed of drone shots, and these are very distracting and in many ways remove the viewer from the story that the filmmaker is trying to tell. So while drones are an incredibly important filmmaking tool, they are incredibly limited in their usefulness. So, the first thing I use my drone for is probably the same as most filmmakers out there and that is as an establishing shot. This is all about telling the viewer where you are in the world and giving context and perspective to the story that's about to take place. The story hasn't yet started, but what we have done is we've shown where the story is going to take place. Number two is a bit more particular and that's changing it up. Now one of my favourite filmmaking techniques is my underwater to above water audio transition. Now this is something I think I do particularly well and it's something that does set me apart from other filmmakers. I'll give you an example. Now I do this for a number of reasons and the main one is to really sell the main purpose of my video which is an underwater narrative. We've got the above water ambience, the ocean, the waves, the seagulls, the birds, the boat potentially and that sets the scene for where we are but the second we have that audio transition and delve into the underwater world we've got low pass filters over the music and the underwater sounds kick in to really sell the atmosphere change that we're now underwater and the story is about to get good. Secondly, in most of my underwater films I'll use the drone halfway through to give me a reason to use this effect to change and modify the pacing in my video and I do this to stop the footage getting boring and repetitive and breaking it up and potentially changing the action or location and giving a reason for the story to flow to the end of my underwater sequence. Number three is transitioning between locations and moving from point A to point B. It's similar to what I just talked about but showing the journey of moving from location one to location two through a singular drone shot is a fantastic way to move between locations in your film. One of the main reasons of using your drone this way, as well as providing context and perspective to a new location, is that it takes the viewer a step back and gives them that refreshing break from the action of part one, allowing them to have a little bit of time before you jump into the action of part two and begin telling the second half of your story. Number four is replicating jib and crane movements. Now, as a run-and-gun filmmaker like myself, having the ability to replicate some of these more professional Hollywood-style shots in my films is an incredibly useful tool, and being able to do that without the need of gear and crew is incredible. Number five, and the fifth and final time I use my drone, is the end shot. Now, remember with our introductory shot, where we're showing the narrative beginning and about to take place, this is almost the polar opposite, where we're showing that story as completed. Now, in my case, what this involves is with our introduction, it's usually the free diver or snorkeler entering the water at sunrise, and the polar opposite of that, telling that complete beginning, middle, end story, is the snorkeler or free diver exiting the water at sunset. This is just a really nice way to tie the ending of your film back to the start and show very clearly the beginning, the middle, and the end of the film. So there you have it. Those are my five uses for drones in my professional film career. As an indicator, I rarely have more than 10% of footage in any of my films as drone shots, and I almost never have them back to back, as an overuse of drone shots really distracts the viewer and removes them from the action and from the story that you're trying to tell. They're incredible filmmaking tools, but they really need to be used properly and not overused to tell your story. That's it for this one. If you enjoyed, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you underwater.